think it's one of it's one of them things that'll no matter how times move on, technology's changing every day, we're finding new things out. I think it's definitely one of them things that'll stick throughout and just keep going really as a tradition. It's definitely, definitely a centerpiece of a culture, yeah. Uh, we've used them. We, we've used them uh, as far back as most written texts are talking about the gypsy culture. He was, he was trained a little bit, but not, not as much as he is now. If you have a, a really nice um, horse that you've had for many years, it will it'll trust you and maybe not trust anyone else. Sort of like a dog, really. If someone tried taking away my horse, I, I wouldn't be very happy because I've, I've had him for years and I wouldn't let them take it, to be honest. And uh, he's, he's, my, he's my horse, no, he's not anyone else's. Train horse and myself, I break them, ride them, shoe them, everything. Started riding horse all my life, riding them since I was born. Just love doing it. If you've had a bad day, your horse will generally know it. It'll, it'll like shrug your shoulder and try and try you cheer you up a bit, really. We like to show off what we breed at home, what our stallions chuck out. Then everyone wants him, but they can't have him. <laughs> Get the adrenaline rush, and so it's a pretty good feeling, yeah. Yeah, you feel like adrenaline. You feel like your horse is the best and stuff like that. It's just how we are. We're just still a bit wild, I suppose. Like, it's just all it is. Well, yeah, a lot of our horses we've had a long time, so you do get that link with them. Oh uh, yeah, I feel, I feel excited when I, when I know I'm about to hit a fast lane. Just to show them what your horse can really do, really. That's, what, that's the main purpose of it, to show it off, really.